Hello YouTubers, Robunky Jr. here, and in today's video I wanted to present to you guys all the weapons that are available in the Battlefield 1 Incursions Closed Alpha currently. Now, uh, before I start the video, I have uh, one key to give away for the Closed Alpha, and I'm going to put it in the... Um, comments down below I'm gonna pin it so the first person to grab it grabs it and that's how it's gonna be and periodically I might refresh that uh, pinned message with a new one uh, because uh, I will probably be receiving more keys so it's gonna be the same thing uh, first person to grab it grabs it and that's how it's gonna work I don't want to make it much more complicated than that so uh, unfortunately I couldn't find a match of incursions this morning as it is quite early and I don't think everybody's on quite yet. And also, uh, there is no way outside of a game to actually swap your weapons out. But I do know which weapons uh, can be used by what class. So, uh, we're going to get the video started right away. So, for the battle mechanic class, you have the choice between the Fromerstop for primary weapons, which is obviously the uh, automatic pistol. Or the Piper M1893, which is a kind of pistol type carbine. So those are the two primary weapons available for the battle mechanic. Now as for the secondary weapons for the battle mechanic, you have the choice between the uh, Howda pistol, which is this four shot hand cannon, and the MLE 1903 moving on to the squad leaders now there are two different squad leader uh, classes available the first one is called control leader the first primary weapon available to the control leader is the auto loading 8.35 factory and the second primary weapon which is available to the control leader is the SMLE mark 3 marksman variant As for the secondary weapons, he has access to the MLE-1903. And the very powerful Gasser M1870 6 shooter. Moving on to the second class available for the squad leader, he is called the raid leader, and he is basically the close quarter uh, class of the two squad leaders. So he has access to the Hell Regal 1915 factory, and also has access to the 12G automatic extended shotgun which in the first iteration of the closed alpha was is the Sjogren inertial shotgun which is uh, the shotgun that was released with the They Shall Not Pass DLC. As for secondary weapons, he also has access to the MLE-1903 like the previous class or the six shooter which is available to the support class in the little game known as the Bulldog Revolver. Moving on to the soldier uh, category, uh, there's five different classes for this specific type of player. This is going to make up the bulk of your squad in Incursions. So the first one is called AT Assault. Now he has access to the MP18 Experimental, which is the uh, burst fire weapon. Fires three round bursts. Or the M1907 Sweeper SL or SL Sweeper, which is the uh, automatic SLR, which is available to the medic class in the vanilla game. As for the pistols, the first one available to this class is the Tashin Pistol M1914. And the second pistol available to this class is the substantially more powerful Mars Automatic Pistol.
Now the next class is called the Shock Assault, and the weapons available to him are, as primaries are the Bar M1918 Trench, And the second primary weapon available for the Shock Assault is the 12G Automatic Backboard. The first secondary available for the Shock Assault is the MLE-1903. Or the 6-Shooter Bulldog Revolver. The next class in this category is called the Trench Surgeon, which is pretty much a must pick. Now the Trench Surgeon's first primary weapon is one of my personal favorites, the Automatic 8.25 Extended. The other primary weapon available for the Trench Surgeon is the Mondragon Storm. The first secondary available for the Trench Surgeon is the P08 Pistol. As for the Trench Surgeon's other choice for a secondary weapon, it is the C93 Pistol. Moving on to the next class, which is the Mortar Support. Now the first weapon available for the mortar support is the MG-15 and a suppressive. The second weapon available for the mortar support class is the Bene Mercier Telescopic. The first secondary weapon available for the Immortal Support is one of the coolest pistols in the game, the Repeater Pistol M1912. As for the second option available for the Immortal Support for secondary weapons, the number 3 6 shooter revolver. Moving on to the final class available in the Soldier category, the Proximity Recon. The first weapon available for this class is the MP-18 Trench. And the second weapon available is the Russian 1895 Trench. And finally, the secondary weapons available for the Proximity Recon is the Frommer Stop, which is a personal favorite of mine when playing Scout, and the Bodeo 1889. So as you can see, there is a nice mix-up of weapons available for each class in the Battlefield 1 Incursions game mode. Uh, it's not very specific as to what type of weapon or what class of weapons you can use. For example, you can have a SLR and a sniper available in the same class. Now all these weapon choices are very much subject to change as the Battlefield 1 Incursions game mode is still in closed alpha. They are working very hard to improve it and make balancing even better. Now just remember I recorded all this in the Battlefield 1 live servers because 
For one, you can't change your weapons when you are in the main menu of incursions, and I couldn't find a game this early in the morning. Now, the weapons in the Battlefield 1 Incursions Closed Alpha have the new and improved time to kill changes coming to Battlefield 1. Uh, so, like, the SMGs do more damage, the the LMGs do more damage, so all those are already changed and the SLRs have already received their accuracy buff that is also coming to the Battlefield 1 live servers. And also something to take note of is that they are customizable the same way as they are in the live server. So you can change the uh, magnification of the zoom, you can change the bayonet or not, you can change the uh, recoil direction, so left, right, or center, and you can also change the sights on all the weapons. So uh, it's pretty much the same type of customization available in the live servers. And also, I didn't cover the gadgets available uh, to the different classes in this video, as the video would have been too long, and I, of course, didn't find a server to join, and I couldn't change my gadgets whatsoever, and I actually wanted to show you guys the gadgets in uh, the actual game itself, using them and all that stuff. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have uh, had the chance to play the Battlefield Closed Alpha for incursions and also don't forget to pick up that uh, closed alpha incursions key in the pinned comment which is going to be uh, refreshed once I get more keys so first come first serve and uh, while you're down there be sure to the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already don't forget to hit that notify bell and as always thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one